What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So in the last episode we lost Turin, but we also put down a attempted revolution from uh, some of my army commanders. They were put down brutally. But without further ado, let us fight this battle in Turin, try to retake the territory as cheaply as possible, and then attempt to push towards Paris. And the objective would be to take Paris and hopefully achieve peace. Um, if I take Paris, or when I take Paris, I will not seek to push into Brussels or Amsterdam or Strasbourg because I do not want to have a border with the enemy. What I would rather like is for a completely... I would like to hold Paris and use that as a defensive position to prevent the French from driving into northern Italy, while then sending other forces down into Spain to break the back of the Spanish. That would be my preferred option. There is definitely a chance, despite me setting up a defensive battle back here, there's always a chance that they could deploy up in your face. Because that's something the AI does when they're massively outnumbered. They can get very aggressive. No, oh, no, not this time. But I've deployed back because of... Where are they? their mortars because they were there on the battle map oh they were right outside out front ha the fools thought I was going to attack them the imbeciles oh, oh, the oh, howitzers are all engaging the field artillery mainly because there is no other targets once these well to be honest once these mortars have been killed um, for no other reason than I want to make sure these men gun them down before they reach my uh, artillery. Let's see if we can kill their officer, the gunner commander. Nope. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Now we can push up with safe knowledge that we're not going to get absolutely reamed by mortifier and we're going to want to do this fairly quickly so jump to it look lively and our howitzers probably want to limber up because they're already out of range oh no I say that they are advancing so disregard not that it'll do much good. So these men are going to get into position. It's going to be a nice short and sweet fight, I think. So let's see if these men actually do auto and limber. No. Yeah, just unlimber. And just open up. Lancer guards are wavering. Let's make sure we are picking good targets. The cavalry is the main focus of effort for my artillery. The actual infantry aren't too much of a concern. Where's my... Okay, oh, there it is. Regiment of, my regiment of horse intercept their gendarmerie. That looks like how it's a fire to me. What I'm hoping I can do is if I push up quickly enough, they won't actually nestle down in the safety of the city. Because they are apt to do that at times. Like what well, they're doing it now, you see, for some reason. And it's not because I'm attacking. They, well, might be. But their natural position is 
you know, they've attacked me. But I'm hoping that if I deployed my infantry up quick enough, they might have to uh, turn around and do something about it, but they do seem pretty happy. to just retreat inside. Okay, well. Ah, that gendarmerie came back. Okay, well my fusiliers run up to the gate. Line infantry guards, try to get up there. General's bodyguard is exposing itself to musket fire. There's the general, he's right there. You men can kill him. Oh, nearly. Oh, that's just the guy next to him. Not that it matters, because they do. Run my cavalry round and enter round the back. Because it looks like they do want to get back and hunker down. Pfft. This is a surprising turn. General's been killed. So this, they're all determined just to march around the back. Charge some men straight through the gate. Hunker down like this with no fire at will. It's not going to end well for any of you chaps. Cavalry's been knocked out. You men run up. And you, to be honest, just run around. Come into the back, like these guys. They formed a square within a square within a square. Charge the 3rd Regiment of Foot. These men, once they get into position, will cut down the 41st Regiment pretty handily. Try and make them rout or kill them, then charge into the unit. Currently blocking all our progress at the gate. Okay, now come. Change targets, because you don't want to expose yourself to the square formation. Just come and kill these guys, because they're slowing down entry of our men into the city. enough Let's 
siege in all but name, whereas these guys, the Glorious 32nd, are going to pretty much attack and kill everyone they can. Fusiliers I'm not so worried about, because they're not that great in melee combat. Run my cavalry around to go hit 32nd here. There you go, hit the garrison provincial line. At the very least, because it's not a proper attack, they're not fighting to the death everywhere. They are crumbling and then dying. Kill the 42nd. Well, it's probably not going to be long for the 55th to uh, give up. So we have taken a lot more casualties than I'd like. It's mainly because the AI has decided to pursue such an odd battle and I really didn't want to just sit back and take forever. Heroic victory indeed. Yeah, we could have sat back and kind of forced them to come out, but that would have been very boring. So there are more French troops. I wouldn't be surprised if the Austrians, if the Ottomans tried it on again. But we've got to we've got to commit now. We've got to commit. Um, it's not taking France is quite a viable option for us, and also because they are a good Catholic nation, they will provide us with some good money. Same with Spain, uh, and it'll also mean. I mean, we might end up still having some problems fighting Britain, but we'll get over that. Oh, see, Sweden's pushed and taken Amsterdam. So I don't want to fight Sweden, not at all. We're currently trading and things are okay. But I don't think I want them to have Paris. I think I'd rather have Paris and defend Paris. But we do have to get there first. That's the main problem. So we've got five grand. We're going to need to spend a lot of money repairing these water power cloth mills damaged in the rebellion. So I can afford to repair one. I can replenish the units here. Who's here? Gendarmerie. Okay, let's send this already damaged secondary army. You can lose too many men trying to take it. Then move up. Do whatever. Actually, make sure these guys are fully repaired. You guys can recruit two guns. These men, you can leave Turin. I will rebel. Push up and around. Ready to intercept these Frenchmen. God damn, Sweden might be about to knock them out of the game completely. They've blitzed and taken Strasbourg, Brussels and Amsterdam. I mean, thankfully Amsterdam looks like it's going to keep rebelling and keep them busy. In which case, then both these armies, if they take Paris, they'll be diverted south and pushed onto Spain. That's my plan. Steam engine, Bologna? I don't think so. You are going to go on to... Punch card looms. You've got plenty of weavers. And Verona, you can instead go for... Maybe reform naval administration. It's a good thing as any. I don't really care about rockets. Foreign advance is good because we get that plus one training for infantry, which is quite nice. Trade gained. And those are our tech advances. So we get options now to build roads. 
but we've got a limit to how far we can actually push that. But there's a real chance that Sweden knocks out France. And to be honest, I'm maybe, maybe, do I just let them do it? I still don't think I do. I think I'd rather take it. But it does mean a war with Sweden on the horizon. It will very much be a defensive war. Because I will not be looking to push against Sweden. I will be looking to push in Spain and probably North Africa as well. But that's quite scary. Sweden managed to just go knock out three French cities in one turn. Sabotage our trade ports. We know there's an enemy agent down here. Signore. You men build up your artillery. We can build, repair another cloth mill. And we can repair, replenish your men. Although we might not, no, we might instead want to replenish this guy's. Paris is already under siege, so I think I might end up just... Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Very friendly. <gasps> Let's get some trade with the 13 colonies. Ah, oh, it's because we're at war with Britain. Okay. So who's Sweden actually allied with? The Mughals, Russia, the Ottomans. So they're pretty much allied with everyone else. When the next war kicks off, I think I'm probably screwed. Well, you march with all <laughs> speed towards, um, towards Madrid. Because ultimately, if Russia's at war with me, Britain's at war with me, the Ottomans hate me. The calculus for the AI. No, just let them carry on. Ugh. Let's hope the uh, Swedes knock them out. Ugh, the Ottomans have declared that on us. Sweden didn't join them, thankfully. But we're about to get pushed everywhere. The AI's done quite a good job at actually creating a giant... Even Britain's got technology, got regions in the Middle East now. Somehow. We must have traded them. So we're back to fighting with our old favourite, the Ottoman Empire, as is tradition. We're going to be fighting a very, very defensive action. Yeah, we lost Paris to the Swedes, but it does mean the French have vanished. Which isn't a bad thing. Let's take one of our ships... Let's take a small portion of our fleet, sail up to Nice. Let's take this very... It is a poor quality army. I'm not going to pretend it isn't. Put them aboard ship. No, they, need, they still need to replenish, which is annoying. You need to replenish. We probably need to recruit more infantry. Probably need to move. We can just about move these militia out of here over towards Verona. Spain now has a port here in Sardinia, Cagliari, so we've got to be careful about that. It is one more turn till we get. Uh, ordnance board, in which case then we'll probably want to go and attack. Oh, 
God, Sweden is just blitz through Europe, and that's really bad. So there are some Ottomans coming up from the north. We've only really got forces to def to to hold to like defend Athens. Hmm. Targets, targets, targets. We don't have the priests to secure North Africa. Could try and knock up. Even then, lock, knocking this, knocking these things down, don't don't really help us that much. Because all of our towns have actually grown. And stop exempting you from tax. You need to pay your way to help us in this war, matey boy. Let's bring you back. Well, we pretty much need to launch an assault on Spain, I think. We could launch an army down here into North Africa. Damn. A lot of options. But just enough options to hang us, hang ourselves. Let's pick up a general here, ready to hopefully build a fort to the west. Um, you need to stay where you are. Okay, this is dodgy. This is very dodgy. Very, very dodgy. And I do want to intercept. <laughs> I need to knock back the Ottomans as efficiently as I can. This campaign that was going well a few turns ago the Swedes in particular have done really well to just storm Central Europe and now they're going to be, they might be unstoppable for a small nation like me. Cavalry ready for the breakout. All of my artillery can still just focus on. Well, not all of you focus on one unit. So they're attacking us with more conventional infantry, which looks pretty good. Try get my cavalry to safety because right now we've got camels on this flank that my cavalry cannot stop. Let's push our flank up. pushing in, but they're running uphill, so we should be okay from a, a charge perspective. These men are charging into my artillery, so they've just fired, so reload for canister shot. Okay, continue firing round shot. So we need to use our terrain, use the terrain to our advantage. Okay, let's take our infantry line, push it out more like this, smash it 
rush into the Bashi Bazooks. So the camels have charged. You men are going to serpentine. You hit, you're going to hit the provincial line, which is annoyingly like the unit that I can't drop into square formation. I think you're going to die fairly quickly. Run the cavalry through. Shatter the Bashi Bazooks. My men go for the artillery. Retarget my infantry, my artillery. They go beaten back. Well, mostly beaten back their cavalry. Their men will suffer trying to break my square formation. Okay, let's bring you guys back into the fold now. Push this line forward. You go straight into those Bashi Bazooks. Go south, go southwest, run these cavalry away. Everyone, present, engage, and attack the enemy wherever they may be found. This cavalry unit may be lost. Regrettably so, but. Just run. You can outrun camels, thankfully. Okay, let's pivot our line. Let's get all our artillery pounding this unit of camel nomads. Because they're probably not need anywhere else. Pikemen are charging. Let's get my cavalry out of the way of the camels. They're pouring fire into their advancing troops. Camels are coming in again. facing that way. There's one guy who's left out. Drop into square because the camels are coming. Too bad they're advancing a square towards the camels. Okay, let's... Our cavalry can now break out. I oh know, risk is of souls. Hope you've reloaded. Oh, sadly not. these cavalry I'm about to exhaust trying to run back up the hill. You go chase down the camels. Pikes are coming back. This is retarget whoever it was I sent to go kill them. You wave off the attack. I said wave off. You 
go after that unit of Bashi Bazooks. You continue on into the centre. These Bashi Bazooks are about to have a real bad time. Chasing these pikemen and kill them. You go chase down the riskers of souls. Push the right wing forward. Fire all our artillery onto whoever's remaining on the battlefield. Attempting to come and intercept my cavalry. I suppose that's good. I can use my artillery against them. Because ours will probably have more luck. Let's bring my horse guards in, ready to hit their infantry. General's moving down into the mix. Yeah, it says they're winning, but not for much longer they are. So they're not forming square, they're just forming a new line formation. Cutting through these infantry because we are heavy cavalry, so we can deal with a bit of a slog. They're probably a bit upset. We can charge the Azar because they'll start to do damage. Let's halt our gunnery. Well, let's not halt it, let's retarget it against this unit of Bashi Bazooks. We broke them. Broke the bashies there. I believe that is everyone. So we definitely want to continue just send people to mow down the infantry that's left. Okay, we've got artillery still firing. There we go. Destruction of the Ottoman position. Heroic victory, indeed. That's the kind of ratio we need. Lost 250 men, we killed 2,800 of theirs. Oh, doy. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Um, looks like the invasion of Sp Spain <laughs> has to wait, as is tradition. Um, instead, we are going to go east. We're going to have to try and fight in Central Europe. Which I don't really want to do, because Sweden exists and is very, very scary.
but there's not a lot we can do with it. I suspect Spain won't give me a lot of... They won't give me a lot of, a lot of leeway either. I need this alliance to break down. It's only through my good, only for good luck, that I'm alive as long as it is. So this guy's raiding his way through. It's okay, we're not overly concerned about him. So we probably want to get this guy retraining. I said you need to march this away. The garrison's pretty strong, but I don't know whether it would hold off quite this many of men. At least not without quick line, which is going to take 11, 9 turns. That's still quite a lot. Okay, these men. Okay, let's leave some men as a garrison and you men get ready to come back because we might need to take Vienna and Zagreb. We might need to push on this front and hold elsewhere. How much money do we get a turn? 3,800. Not very much at all. Come on, Russia. Peace and trade. What about just peace? Britain. Peace and trade. What about just peace? Spain. Peace and trade. This is the thing, even countries that I'm friendly with. That's still, we still can't get a break. Uh, okay, Britain. Allied with Sweden, Spain, Russia. So Britain's currently allied with every other nation on Earth in trying to kill me. So is Russia. So we're not going to get a break from any of these guys. And it's not going to be worth doing, giving them a state gift to try and get them to back off either. I do just need to kill them in battle. So you just hold out up here while I try and take Zagreb, Vienna, Hungary, Sarajevo. Okay. Don't think I have to bother with the military academy because I've not got the. Uh, I've not got the troops needed to fight a prolonged battle. So I think that's the only that is the sort of expansion I can only realistically support. You can march up match up with them. You need to try and go over here to get within range of supporting Venice. Cause I think next turn we got a lot of hurt heading our way. And we don't even have quicklime to stop them. So they took Croatia, understandable. Might you send a ship to do reconnaissance nearby um, Istanbul to see what the condition is of their troops? Like I said, my massive, the massive concern is that Sweden currently, I don't think, has a major power to fight. They're only at war with the pirates, which, as the AI screams, kill the human player. That's what that says to me. Um, so we probably want to take you. Which probably means I can't afford just to send all of my dudes east. I'm going to need someone to hold the fort here because we don't know what the hell's going to come. So you're still replenishing. Move the grenadiers up. Okay, don't recruit marines. Recruit three guns. So I want to hopefully turn this into another army. But these guys, they're going to push up and hit Udin. Try and destroy 
this Ottoman army. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.